running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that Ryder just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just let go. Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. There's somebody coming out. Oh, that dude. Good that evening, dude, Alan. He punched in the Are nose. you feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. <laughs> I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Why Big of you. Hand, I did. Now... Why don't you come with me? Where's his finger? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Nothing, man. Get out of the way. This corridor is for go. patients. Most of them oh, are no, here man. right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable. I don't care what you're saying. What they do gonna do? I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Yeah, I bet Splendid, you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Wait, how are you unlocking it from this right way, there? And your lock is, a, is a, a, above the handle. Okay. I will not get into the elevator. Now, Alan, from elevator. past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. See, what did you get to say? is dead. No. Oh, You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. But wait, how do you, how, how do you know she did? And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, Unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Wait, you might be on this though. way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. 
I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Oh, they're like, well, why he had it here? I'm trying to look back at it. Like, they look straight and continue talking. <sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I it could see near a peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Oh. It seems there's a right? storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it I doesn't, dark. why Wait. is that? Because I'm lying? Or well, because you the clouds are the raining clouds are coming in quick well. when It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. Out of the his words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Why you got Let's so go many through. doors locked? <laughs> uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. Nobody cares I do about love to trophies? hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Hey, I don't care about no skills, no hunting skills or no crap. I'm just ready to get out of here. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. Why are you laughing like that? I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ew. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with Man, him. Man, just to continue say. walking. He works on it's not games. Yeah. It's trash, of course, but it does I'll involve some the small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. He didn't stop by that one watch. Uh, I thought he was going to stop and talk to her, too. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. It does it do behind me. It's like, dude. My rumors are killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this what place off the face of the earth. And these oh, nice. two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. 
Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Nah. I'm, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Like Crazy or not, man. the Andersons made more sense. Well, he's the boss. We're trying to go around. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you know who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. Knox got me looking after Wake here, but the holler. Man, I need you looking after me too. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. That old woman. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Ah, so that's why I can break something. Yeah, that, yeah, well, the white glare of the blank weird. page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Put that down. Bert, I need help. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Nah, I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit there. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did you get a bear hand? I don't know. Here's a friendly poke from me, old Leopold. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha <laughs> ha! Sinclair looked back. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. The if she was one of the I was too it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he was keeping them. It's time to pay the piper. They smacked her with a thing. Wait, how'd he get in there? Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. Uh... I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that bed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. 
but he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up, but when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. You did that to get back at Rose. <laughs> it ain't Rose fault in whatever she did. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Huh? Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Huh? Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your uh, we've been done to the shadow, people. Don't want stuff at me. Hey, chill out!
I'm glad it didn't kill me. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Give me a flare. Oh, I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, I know. Look at the house, Al. Rushing me. I'm already a little nervous that I'm gonna run up on shadow people. I talk too much. Hello. Shadow people. Out of here, there's no way he saw things expand that move. Like this. Okay, now nah, I know I, I just gotta fight him. No point in running to take my time. I thought I had to do it in a certain amount of time. Got away if I, if I would have ran the right way. Yep, yeah, I could have got away if, 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 if I would have ran the right way. Move the channel. We'll turn it off. We don't want any fighting. It leads to this. I got a clue. Who's him doing all this? I'm about to. You get two barrels in the morning, and then you'll be nice. Whatever. 
Oh, that one dude, that little dude that was in the, in the one part that was hacking off the bush. Yep. Oh no, it ain't him, it's that dude. Why you hacking off? Out of here, man. This man charged up like he was on the attack. Ah, uh, get back. Man, can I just get up to the place so I can leave? Ooh, shotgun. I think that'd be special too. Take a shotgun for the what's called the people this time around the ammo. This ain't like a trap. Out of here, man. Like, how can you just sit there and four hit me, basically? Shotgun, give me that, give me that. I'm just gonna kill him. Cause if that thing would never hit me in the back, I didn't think it was gonna move. I'm gonna go this way. Cause they gonna spawn in them bushes. So I'm gonna deal deep people start trying to run past. Cause they would mess me up when I try to run past. This is a cop dude right here. I don't die like what twice if I came out there and go home. I don't came out there building. That little stupid old thing right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't been here. Well, now it is. I'm letting it throw it over here. Yeah, I'm run back up there and shine the light on it. Come on, pick it up. Here I go. Hello. Welcome to this. 
get it out of the way. Ooh, some flare right here. I got, I got excited. I'm like, yes, I'm out. But no, I'm not. That gate open, man. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? I'm gonna have to survive. Barry! Uh, slam it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh. Coming out the woodwork. Hey, up, it's like I got a flare. <laughs> I'm going after him first because I know he's gonna be the problem. I used all three flares. All right, I used all three flares. Too nice to end like I can't dodge there for nothing. So I'm gonna keep that big dude alive actually. Unless two big I'm the one I don't want. I don't want both dudes to spawn. Hurry up! Barry. He's my first target. But he, he's all that police dude is always killing me. So it was two of them this whole time. About the twig, shut up. Yeah, I knew it. Ooh, ooh, he's swinging that show. Got one player, the blind about to kill him. Two of them the whole time. I just didn't know. I just didn't know. Ow, he's still holding on to that bright falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it.
crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! I knew it wasn't any easy to get away. I figured it wasn't any really easy. of the game without having to deal with you. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Oh, 
I forgot about this. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. But what weapon? A flashlight? Does it touch no one in the dark? I died a few times. I, can, uh, I tried to steal for a minute. <laughs> Like, why they didn't give me infinite runs? Cause they want me to do something like this. Child put back. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Oh yeah, the house over there. Oh, that's a bigger flash. Like, look what? Like, is it? Can I swap it? And this one. Oh, I got a oh better light. Like, last one. Like Any guns? Guns? No, no guns. I need a gun right now. <laughs> The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Yeah, I was like, is it coming to get us or something? Still don't got a gun. They got to pin out with this flash. Like, what the frick is it? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the lightning. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. I'm just gonna dodge him. Right there. Right there, right there. Hey, everything gonna work. I bet you if you play on a harder deal, which it is, not gonna tell you what he went on bear trap there. chance of reaching the farm. But what if I run out of ammo though? I ain't got no handgun. Oh, as soon as I touch the raft.
I'm gonna run back and get some help. I don't even know what the bear chart right though. I probably saw it and didn't pay no attention. I hope they don't respawn them. Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! Oh, what, what are you? What are you? Ah! No, no! Oh. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again. For the moonshine, you know? It, it makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Do you want me good? Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends. Something bad guy who, who wrote this crap okay. and I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her and me and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. Uh -huh. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes, cliffhangers, in a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Huh. I don't get out of here. I'll do the same door. So I gotta go back down upstairs and go. Dang it, game. Yo, bitch, guy was almost. It doesn't end that. That man got a shotgun, let me out of here! Uh -uh. I thought you shot more than Shaga. The front door was locked. I tried to jump out the window. It would live. So how do I get out of here? Oh, I got a cut thing right there. 
Oh, ammo right up. I could climb out through the broken window. I just tried the there. was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. It I hope I don't drive off the road like I did one before. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. Team, but I don't play it. Barry, it's Barry. Wait. Oh, the farmer are you? Jason when I fight them. I thought that John was finna do some transformer like stuff. I bet what that thing finna touch an Autobot or something. I started moving around. Okay, so I got. It's not over there. It is over there. It sucks. I thought it was that house over there. So I'm probably gonna have to fight my way over there. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. I'll tell him I got to defend myself here. Ow! Run! They're coming! There's too many of them! God damn! Decided to go it alone. Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight them all. I can tell up more of the fireworks from here and help you out. Something in there, but there's it, it, no flares in there. What I'm looking for. He tried to, he tried to get me up there. Ah. No police, dude. 
over it, they look like they need to. Nah, they ain't policy, they're like. I don't know what to say, but they ain't policy. I thought they were like policy. Like why they started coming? Like what the freak I supposed to do? They took up my tone. I should have survived this time, because that other shotgun, that, that like, remington looking shotgun, that looks like, like the one called dude. That I, was, I just looked at it in the ground. Survive with a with a not that much health left. Wait, it they could at least gave me time to prepare, right? Right? And I seen these flares right here by oh I didn't have time to run and grab. It. I seen the all this I didn't have time to run and grab it. Ah! 
They're going to. That was awesome! Mm. Right Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! Get this way to the farm! Wait, I'll fly. I thought. I don't know. Hey, like, they put a dang on what's called thing. Keep in the ground. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Okay, it's a ladder over here. Once I had the place secured, you just gonna stand right there. Yeah, fair, this flashlight in his hand. Damn. Oh, that was wrong. I It makes me very. Wonder what that had to me. Wow. I'll tell you, I got the pin in this small place. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Sleep. I was not trying to finish eating. Oh, night spray. Man. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? Beer, be quiet. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode The Dream of Dreams. Man, that's by someone else. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. To be honest, damn, that rock and roll looking for a little stadium part of me made me feel like I was playing Left 4 Dead uh, Carnival for a bit. Think of that. Wait, what happened to him? Wait, I'm confused. That dude that was teleporting around, did he like smack one of the, the electric wires and died or something? Wait, I'm supposed to uh, run around here. Y'all get to be doing like this. God dang. 
But JJ was a bunch of throw or a bunch of throws or something. They had they were just throwing. Like, how did you get over there? Wow, those geezers had quite a production going on. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, and get a reality show going, release a new single. Be careful, Al! Yeah, I'll do my best. I already don't die like, what, three times already? So, yeah, what a fourth time. What's wrong with the widow? What the freak, man? What's up with you big guys jumping out of the woodwork like that on me? Give me a second, dude. Uh, give me a second to breathe. Give me a second to breathe. You okay, Al? I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? They can be anywhere. He'll not. My, 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 my flash, I need to be recharged. They, 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 they didn't like scare me. She like it was been a jump scare or something. All right, pushed up. I don't know if it's uh, as you regularly know. I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Bullock are taking a couple off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? The deer fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Shelly Pat, we've been real busy for the last time. I know which concerns an ongoing investigation. Oh, I don't is he going to take me on the It wasn't Oh, the goods. I thought I get to drive this track. Nope. Ah, uh, that sucks. I, I, I asked that I would be able to So I got to walk around and open the door for him. Whipping it backwards. That thing is not a player afraid of no player. Well, that tractor or farming machine is not afraid of no player. Sick of them dudes like that, man. It made no sense how tired of them I am. Let me drop this flash right now.
said I wanted to drive the, the, the freaking uh thing and it came and it came to life. Can I pick up a snow jam and smack one of them with it? I think that'd be equally a flare. I mean, fair. I think flare. Fair. Don't smell nobody else. I used the majority of what I had fighting them. Uh, out! Is that you out I there, had to buddy? find a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. Man, I'm put out the shotgun and go and reload it. Alright, I'm ready. Hey, what's the hold up? Come on, this place is all dusty. You know I got my allergies. I got allergies too. You'll be fine. Come on, Al, open the door already. Seriously, I don't like it in here. Hey, let's go, man. Oh, it was locked. I was about to say, I like, wait, I could just walk through that door and get in this little bell. Open the gate! I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate. It's pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. How many players? Is that this three? This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome. I feel about right here. Right now, can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Maybe of the light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town? Cynthia Weaver. Right! Darkness, then you stuff and come over there and interrupt y'all. Okay, we need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry, this is. Yeah. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer. <laughs> I thought that cut out was some bad. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. How to look black though, they gone. They out go. But that old woman might pop up though. The old woman in black. 
Oh, so you didn't pop up. Gonna show what happened? Alice, 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 I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy, drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cow in the dark. Alice, Alice would have never Alice. turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. So how did you appear in that car, though? I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed no! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. What you think? Alice is alive and she just used him to write? Yes. I'll write. Oh, that she took that man to I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Oh, Jesus! No. Why did they do I this? It. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week. Almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away. 
but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. And then that one, she came. So this, so basically, the old woman was I chasing him. Up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. 